Welcome! In this video, I'm going to demonstrate our three popular tools, the FIX Integrated Control Center, the FIX Client Simulator, and FIX I, and I'll show you how they integrate with one another. Here you can see the main window of the FIX Integrated Control Center. In this video, I will refer to this application by its abbreviation FIX ICC, or as we at EPAM call it, FIXIC. Fixic is a Java application and can be run on any platform. It can also monitor and administrate remote Fix servers. In this demo, I'll show how to connect Fixic to multiple EPAM products and Fix smart routers called Fix Edge. Fixic shows session statuses and runtime parameters such as sequence numbers. It can also add a new session to Fix Edge or edit other parameters or business logic rules. Here you can see multiple servers deployed in multiple environments, test, production, and new release. By double clicking, we're connecting to the test server and for this we need to enter administrative credentials. In the status column over here, we can see different colors indicating each type of server status. The purple circle on the test server indicates that Fixic is successfully connected to the Fix Edge host but that fixed edge is stopped at this moment. Now we'll connect to the production server. The green circle shows that Fixic is successfully connected to the server and the server is up and running. Since the new release server is disconnected and Fixic doesn't know its status, the circle is red. Using Fixic, a user can remotely start and stop servers. For now, I'm going to start the test server and add a new session to it. To start a server, select the server you want to start and press the Start Server button, or right-click on the server and press Start Server. Now that the server is started, the status circle is green. Each server has its own list of sessions that you can see in the Servers tab. Click the pluses to expand. To add a new session to the server, select the server and press the Add Session to Server button or right-click on the server and press Add Session to Server. I'm going to start an initiator session. Enter the host, port, sender comp ID, and target comp ID. And press OK. As a destination, we're using another EPAM tool called the Fix Client Simulator, which will accept any Fix connection. Now we can see that the status circle of the session we just added is green right here, which means that it's added successfully. When we double click the session, the parameters appear in a new tab. These are all the session parameters. For example, we can see the sequence numbers increasing for inseq num here and outseek num here. This means that Fix Edge is sending heartbeat messages to the Fix Client Simulator and is getting heartbeat messages back. For accepting the newly created session, I'm going to use the Fix Client Simulator, which is a tool for manually testing Fix connections. It can help establish Fix sessions, accept incoming Fix connections, and maintain them by sending heartbeats. In the Fix Client Simulator, the user can compose and send Fix messages to the counterparty. When I select the session, you can see that the new connection from Fix Edge has been accepted by the Fix Client Simulator in the Events Viewer here. You can see that the session state shows that it's established and that the parameters correspond to the session we just started in Fixic. Exchange 1, Fix Edge Test, Fix 4.4. For this test, I'll enable session level messages so the incoming and outgoing heartbeats will be highlighted. Right click the session and press show session messages. 
We'll wait for a little while while we're getting the heartbeat. Next, I'm going to show you how to create a fix initiator session and how to connect to fix edge. All incoming and outgoing messages will be shown in the events viewer and you can see that we just got our first pair of heartbeat messages. Incoming heartbeat messages are highlighted red and outgoing heartbeat messages are highlighted green. In Fixic, we can see that the sequence numbers have increased too, so we know that the connection is stable. For this test, we've already prepared an order, and I'm going to show you how to edit the values of this order. Right-click on the order itself and press Edit. I'm going to edit the client's order ID tag, which is tag 11. Press close. Now I'm going to send the message. The message is sent and we can see that tag 11 is updated to the value that I just changed it to. For now, I'm going to disable the session level messages and I'll show you how to load messages from a file. So first click the replay tab this feature can be useful if you need to replay a prepared list of messages, for example, some test scenarios you might have. So once you've clicked the replay tab, click into the browse button, select the file that you want to load messages from. And then you have two options for sending messages, either with a pre-configured rate that you can edit in this box or with these arrows, or using timestamps by selecting this box. Sending messages with a high rate is often used for high load testing. For this demo, I'm going to use a rate of five messages per second. Press play to send, and here in the events viewer, you can see the messages being sent. So for this demo, um, I prepared some invalid messages expecting them to be rejected by Fix Edge for not passing validation. And you can see them as incoming messages in the events viewer with the reason for the rejection stated in tag 58. So here, for example, tag 58 reads tag 1128 is not defined for this message type. And above two more messages with tag 58 reading tag 204 is not defined for this message type and tag 20 is not defined for this message type. When you want to create a new session, you can select a pre-configured session or create one from scratch. So to do this, click into session, create new, and you can edit all these values to whatever you choose, or you can select a file. And I'm going to select one that I've prepared called Fix Edge Testing Session. Press OK. And you can see here that the new session was established. In Fixic, you can see that the corresponding session has also been started. And the session status circle is green, meaning that it's up and running. Each application also creates several logs for each session. located in the log folder. Every session that was started has a log with a name based on the sender and target of the session. For example, the session we started earlier with fix edge test being the sender comp ID and exchange one being the target comp ID. Files with the in extension have the incoming logs and files with the out extension have outgoing logs. For fixed logs analysis, EPAM has an application called FixEye. It's a powerful tool for browsing logs containing fixed messages, visualizing the messages, searching for data, and fixed message comparison. For more information on this tool, visit the B2Bits website. The link to the site is in the video description below. By pressing Show All, I can view all the messages sent by the Fix Client Simulator to Fix Edge in the session we just used called Fix Edge Test Exchange 1. 
For example, by selecting orders, fix I will show all messages relating to fix order message flow. By double clicking any message, I can open message details. This is where fix I breaks down the information sent in the message in a legible way. We can see the updated value of tag 11 that we modified in the fix client simulator is shown here. To show you how to use custom filters, I'll load more files from today's session. To do this, I'll first press add files, then browse. Then I'll locate the logs folder in the file containing fix edge. I'll select all the files excluding the folders, press open and OK. And if you want to double check that the files have loaded, you can expand this plus and this one. And here you can see all the files that have been loaded. I'm going to go back to the default view. And now that we've loaded all the logs from today, we can search the logs by message content. So other than using predefined filters, we can write a search expression by typing any tag equaling any of the tags expected values into the custom search here. For example, by typing 35, the tag signifying message type equal three, the value signifying the reject message, we can filter for message rejects. Here are all the session rejects that we saw today. To show you a little more detail, I'll double click into the first reject message, expand message details, and I can see that the reject reason for the first message is represented by value two in tag 373 which is translated from the fixed standard as the tag not being defined for that message type, which is spelled out in the column value name. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope this was a helpful demo. If you have any questions or want more information, please contact our support or sales teams. Their email addresses will also be in the description below. And you can always check out b2bits.com, our website where you can find links to documentation to each of our products and any more information that you might be curious about.